Welcome to Mike's Videos of Beavers They're just chipping Chipping away All day, every day their own way Hi everyone, it's Mike. Welcome back to another beaver video. Today we're following Spud, a one and a half year old beaver, as she searches for something to eat just about 25 meters up the hill from her beaver pond. You can see that she's currently trying to get at some uh, greenery that is protected by a fence. That fencing was specifically put there to keep beavers away from uh, specific trees that the university whose grounds these are on wanted the beavers to stay away from. You might be able to see inside the cage that uh, there's a couple of chewed on stumps so it appears the beavers either got there before the fence was up or have figured out a way in there. After doing a 360 around the first fenced area, she went up the hill a little to this next spot. You can see that there actually are some yummy trees in there that the beavers haven't gotten at. And so it looks like this fencing is up to the task and so far has managed to protect some growing trees. But not to worry, there's plenty to eat. It's uh, very common to use fencing to uh, save some trees from the beavers. And if you spend a lot of money putting trees in your landscape, it's not unreasonable to want them to continue to grow. In the background, you see some buildings. That's the uh, Saskatoon Cancer Center and the Royal University Hospital and the Hospital Parkade that are all just up the hill from the beaver pond. And Spud followed her nose around the hill and eventually found some little saplings or something growing from where there used to be a larger tree. And she seems very content to eat on these leaves and twigs that look very yummy and fresh. I'm not sure if Spud was looking for something very specific. She seems to be passing up on lots of greenery, including some things that she often eats. And she seems to just be checking out what's all around. And in the summer when everything is green and food is plentiful, they're maybe a little more picky than they usually are. So she must have a specific smell or taste she's looking for at the moment. She finally stopped on this little plant and started eating. I just sort of crouched down to film and watch her and luckily she came right over to where I was crouched and started chewing a plant to take back to the pond and so I was able to just lower my camera and get this really nice up close view. She seems very unconcerned by my presence. I've spent lots of time near Spud and she recognizes my scent and knows I'm not a threat. But this is just great. She bent over and started taking some greenery right next to where I was now sitting and um, so I get a really nice up close view. It's kind of funny because her mouth seems full but she keeps just trying to get her teeth open enough to pull off a few more stems. And with her mouth seemingly full, she ventured back down the hill towards the beaver pond to eat. 
Well, that's it for today's video. I've had lots of really great up close experiences with Spud over the last couple of years and I treasure each and every one. I keep referring to Spud as her. I honestly have no idea if Spud was male or female because you can't really tell with beavers just by looking at them. Uh, as many of you know, if you follow my social media or my channel, uh, when beavers turn to their instincts, tell them it's time to leave and they go out and look for their own mate and their own home. So uh, around June of this past year, uh, was the last time I saw Spud. Uh, she disappeared, presumably went down to the river in search of a mate. Hopefully she found a very nice beaver of the opposite gender to spend the rest of her life with and built a nice home. In any event, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. I appreciate every time you stop by my channel. Um, and for those of you who are purists and would rather just watch the beavers doing their things without me yammering, uh, for today, I'm just going to tack on the video and replay the whole thing now without my narration. So if you're so inclined, feel free to stick around for another four minutes and watch what you just saw. Only enjoy it without me yammering away. Have a great day. Cheers.